G'day, Stu here from UAV Futures, and today, well, what we're going to be doing, this is a little short, sharp, sweet video for you guys out there. You might have some older quads, you want them to fly a little bit better. You've been hearing all sorts of things about RPM filtering, all that sort of stuff with the new Betaflight 4.1. Well, today, I'm going to show you how for free, because traditionally this used to cost some money, people used to charge for this. For free, you guys out there with some older quads can update your ESCs to get uh, RPM filtering on them if you're using BL Heli S ESCs. Most of the 32 bits that's no worries you can already go and do that stuff but for you guys out there who have bio heli s escs we're going to go through the easy process of how to flash them so you can get some new firmware on there that's going to be able to do the rpm filtering and traditionally people had to pay for this uh, there were some people charging people out there and i don't want to go into the debate of should you be charging for this software or not but a huge shout out to who have we got here i think it's uh jazz mac because he's made some firmware we can put on there and it does it all now for free it's got a few benefits about it but enough rambling i'm just going to go through the setup how you do it i'm going to put all the links down in the description down below huge shout out to jazz mac for doing this as well because traditionally uh people who have older escs they might not be able to afford to get the new bioheli 32-bit escs they might not even be able to afford to get the firmware so having a free version out there is great for a lot of people so first things first we're going to get the bioheli configurator open i'm going to plug in my quad plug in a battery and this is an older one it's got some armiton escs in here you're going to hear a few little startup tones which is important to listen to but why did my go my gopro just did a weird beep all right we're going to click connect and then we're going to click a read setup and you'll notice uh right here this this number right here is really important to look at ch 15 16.6 we need to remember that and now i'm going to minimize this we're gonna go across, we're gonna click on this little link which is gonna take us to this page here. And what we wanna, we wanna click on the hex files. There might be some updated ones. This is just the one that was released most recently by the time of filming this video. We're gonna click on 16.73. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find that number we just had, which was CH15. And then, so we're looking at those letters and we're gonna click download. So I'm gonna open those. We're gonna right click on this little part raw and save link as. You can call it whatever you want. I better uh, put this in this folder. So let's save it right there. That should be all saved. Now we can go back into our configurator and we're going to click flash firmware. So I don't know if you can do this all at once or one at a time, but I'm just going to do mine one at a time. Select file manually. Where do I save this? Import the projects. All right, so select file manually and you want to navigate to wherever you saved it. Here it is, CH15 rev 16.7, and there we go, it is flashing. So once this is done, I'm gonna do that to all the rest. So with the magic of editing, hopefully this goes through. Let's see if it does first, just to make sure for you guys. Right here, so you can see this number up here has changed to 16.73, so let's go through. I'm gonna flash all of these and then we'll cut back with a bit of editing. Radio. So uh, they've all done that. What I'm going to do, I am going to unplug my battery. I'm going to click disconnect right up here. And then we should hear, if it worked too, a different startup tone. So there we go. It sounded a little bit different starting it up. And we are pretty much done. So that's it. I'm going to put all the links down below as well. There's a whole RC groups thread you can see. Apparently, you know, it's got some different things about error ratings, all that sort of stuff. But look, to be honest, I don't understand that part quite enough. I'm not a computer programmer or anything, but it's meant to be fairly stable. And apparently there's a 48 kilohertz version coming. And the beauty is too, some people are like, look, how, how could I donate to your work? They really like what I've done. They wanted to help this guy out. And he's saying, I already did. He's just happy that people are enjoying his firmware and they're getting the most out of their quads. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that little video. I know it's not gonna be for everybody. It's just for you guys out there who have a quad that might be on some older firmware. You might not be able to afford to get some new ACs. You might not even be able to afford to get some new firmware. And now, well, this guy, Jazz Mac, he's made some stuff for free. So huge shout out to him. All the links down below. It is super easy. Bureau Heli uh, configurator, all those sorts of links. That's just how easy it is. Uh, I'll be doing a follow-up video on some ESC filtering and RPM filtering, all that sort of stuff in the future. Uh, subscribe for my FBV related content. And I also want to mention too, this is just like temperamental firmware. So use at your own risk. If you're already happy with how your quad's flying, well, uh, you know, just you probably don't need to do this, but there will be some people out there. And if you're watching this video and you want to do these updates and stuff, you're probably well aware that, you know, these we're pushing some older ESCs and just it's it's experimental at the moment. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, use at your own risk. Uh, it said all the subscribe stuff. So I'm going to get back to editing my other videos. And as always, happy flying.